Welcome to the pavement and base takeoff training video. The scales have been set in accordance with the notes using a curb to curb width of 36 feet, which is a very common width for residential streets in the United States. You can verify the widths after restoring the project file that came with this package. We will perform an asphalt paving tonnage takeoff using that tool found in the asphalt and paving folder. Clicking clockwise, we perform the area takeoff finishing by clicking the letter S as in Sierra on the keyboard. Notice the takeoff is still highlighted and there is information seen in the quantity list. We verify the method of calculation in the quantity list. In this case, pounds per square yard per inch of thickness with a default weight of 110 pounds. If this is acceptable, we either click on the ruler or enter the letter N as in November on the keyboard and begin a new measurement. Using the same trace, asphalt paving tonnage, we do another area takeoff. This time, we will change the description for the takeoff. Enter the letter D while the measurement is highlighted. Click the check mark. This change appears in two places, the quantity list and the measurement list. Using the base trace from the site work folder, we do an area takeoff. The radius is performed by entering the letter C as in Charlie after clicking the beginning, approximate middle, and the ending points of the arc. There are no defaults for calculation method or thickness. The measurement list is visible because I have clicked the balloon icon which floats the measurement list above all applications. Until I finish the measurement, it does not appear in the measurement list. The last measurement we did used the bulk density calculation method which produced tonnage of material to order and no cubic yardage to order. With the measurement highlighted, then changing the method produces these changes. Another measurement has been performed using the asphalt paving tonnage tool. We're going to change that measurement to asphalt paving heavy duty. Notice the area measurement is highlighted and the measurement is shown in the quantity list and is the first item in the measurement list. Double clicking asphalt paving heavy duty changes the measurement to that trace and changes the quantities. The default thickness in heavy duty is 2 inches thick. Double clicking the asphalt paving tonnage changes it back. Notice the default thickness in asphalt paving tonnage is 4 inches. Changing measurements causes the quantity list to use the defaults if there are any. Copying and changing measurements can be very useful. This last measurement is 8,296 square feet of asphalt tonnage. First we strike the M as in Mary key on the keyboard. Notice the cursor change. While holding down the control key, we make a copy of the original measurement, entering S as in Sierra on the keyboard and then clicking outside the area measurement ends the process. Highlighting this measurement, we change it to the asphalt paving heavy duty trace whose area is produced in square yards. Next, we highlight this measurement and change it to the base trace. and enter the values required for this trace.
Now by striking the M as in Mary key on the keyboard without using the control key, we move the asphalt heavy duty measurement on top of the base measurement. We have used one takeoff to produce these two new items on different layers. Now that we have completed our takeoff, it is time to transfer to Excel. The measurement list has been sorted using the bid code column. First change the measurement list column configuration to the one you use for Excel transfer. Then open the Excel worksheet. Highlight the area of the measurement list you want to transfer using the shift key with the mouse on the lower right cell and then drag and drop the contents into the appropriate cells in your worksheet. This concludes the asphalt paving training video. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or email me at this address.